What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. In the last episode, we saved Yosuke from his own shadow, and he got his own persona. And in this episode, the conditions are right. It's raining. Soon it'll be midnight. Let's go ahead and check the midnight channel. Let's see if anybody's on there. That would be terrible if someone else was on there. People end up dying from the midnight channel. Okay, it's raining. We're all alone. TV's off. Let's see what happens. Oh, TV's not off yet. In other Inaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. Oh dear. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Hmm. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. No kidding. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up to date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. All right, let's turn off the TV. Anybody going to show up? Oh, no. Who is it this time? Can't really make it out. A kimono? Now, who do we know who wears a kimono? Hmm... I don't know. I wonder... Can we actually get to them from here? Wishful thinking. Well, it was worth a shot. See what Yosuke thinks about this tomorrow. Maybe he knows who it was. I mean, who could it possibly be? Igor. Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dream. Why have you summoned me, Igor? And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice, thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. Hmm, the Velvet Key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this Velvet Room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. I understand, Igor. Kinda. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. How so? It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Uh, special? The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Really? So, if I control my own heart... I still don't get it. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? 
I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Story so far is interesting. Meet again. So maybe this will be one wild ride. Goodbye, Igor. Yo. Morning, Yosuke. You saw what was on last night, right? I, I couldn't tell who did. it was. But if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. Maybe. It turns out someone was thrown in again. There really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. Agreed. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Only crazy people. <sighs> Let's bring an end to this. Yeah. I agree. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Really? I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Oh, that's great! Persona, wasn't it? Yeah. It could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Sure thing, partner. Uh, Yosuke seems like he's going to be a good friend. We both have our resolve. And lo and behold. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Magician Arcana. And we have started our brand new social link with Yosuke. Didn't Igor mention something about this recently? Like, very recently? The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. So the more social links we have, the more power we get. So the friendlier we are to other people, the stronger we are. So Yosuke Hanamura has joined us with the Magician Arcana very good friend and he gets a special little bonus he can now wake up a knockdown ally during battle what that means is if you're ever knocked down by a weakness of yours or you're you have become dizzy by being hit too many times while you're down he can come over at any time it is random sadly and pick you right back up that's good we've I feel like we've made an actual friend here in this quiet town. Uh, Chie, is something wrong? Uh, Chie, um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Yeah, I suck. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Uh-oh. Huh? Y Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Same here. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey... Is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. No. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but... She hasn't responded. Well, maybe she's I called busy. I called earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... I still think Calm you're going down. a bit too far here. Picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No. <clears throat> Nod your head yes, say no. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying 
Yukiko was thrown in Now, there. don't jump to conclusions. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Exactly. Give her another call. Go ahead and try it. I'm sure she's just busy at the inn. Well? No good. Don't. Her voicemail picked up. Uh-oh. She, she's not answering. Well, you never know. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that Maybe place? she's not next to her phone. S stop it. Something must have come up, like an errand or something. There you go. That's the thinking you should have. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. See? She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. There's plenty of different situations yeah, that could be happening. school for that? Oh, maybe. Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Just don't panic. Come on, Yukiko. No reason to panic on. yet. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. There we go, see? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, I see. Uh, uh, nah, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. Now see, look at that. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. That's what you get for panicking. She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. He got you worried. She was totally fine. Uh, and you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? <laughs> yeah, not freaking out at all. Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Yeah. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. Yeah. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Sounds good. So at least Yukiko's safe for now. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. Don't worry, I didn't say anything embarrassing. If I seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Neither would anyone else. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. There's way too many people here. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. Hmm. I got it. Come here a sec. What you got? Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, That's actually a good idea. Here. Make a wall with me. Yes, make a wall. A wall? Yeah, you heard him. The best wall ever. Ah! He beat me! How dare you! What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! Oh. Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? Uh, I think I'm gonna cry! Oh, come on. Don't cry. Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. Oh my god, that hurt. Hey, you. We know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside I didn't know Teddy right could now? do this, honestly. Who's anybody? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. So wait, she's not... <laughs> Shut it. So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Well, then you better go oh. catch it. <laughs> I'm going to go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone. But still. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Good. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Hopefully. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. All Once of them crossed. I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Oh, sure. Technology. Don't send me spam. All right. Don't forget to watch tonight. Agreed. 
Oh, I really hope Yukiko doesn't show up on the Midnight Channel tonight. That would be awful. She won't know until we watch. I'm sure she'll be fine. I mean, she was just at the inn, right? Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Yes, you do! Well, what else could it be? Thank you! There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But that two true, Vicks could equal one perp. What the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas. Mm, so it couldn't have been proven. her. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. So she wouldn't, no one you know, would throw herself out there. Yeah, way exactly. Had murder on their mind. Got a point there. The same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. Hmm. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. So he's out. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. Uh, he's practically I can imagine as much that. of a victim as the Yamano girl. Except he's not dead. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. Too simple. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. Is it a calling card? The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out Ah, already? crap. Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. Like what? And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> but that's still a bad motive. Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. How'd you guess that? Ah, is your detective's intuition at work? Shut up, Adachi. Welcome home. Hey, Nanako. Well, the stage is set. Let's watch the Midnight Channel. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers and toes crossed that Yukiko's not on there. Please let her be okay. Let it just all be a coincidence that she wasn't answering anything. It's just... Please see that she's okay. All right, moment of truth. Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! What on earth was that? Yeah, no kidding that was Yukiko on there right now. Are you serious? Okay, now it's time to panic. Hey, did you see that? Yes. That was Yukiko san for sure. It looked like her and I mean she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? Yes. She looked like she was on some low budget TV show. Was it like this before? 
I don't remember if What's it was. On? I I don't know. Try to contact Chie. You're right. Let's get her to contact you, Kyo-san. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. Sounds good. Oh man. Ah, uh, no time to freak out. Got to meet up with our friends tomorrow, and we're gonna go see what we can do about Yukiko. Crap! I thought we had something. I thought she was okay. Uh, Dojima? Oh, he's not here. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Are you gonna be okay? Where's your dad? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. Oh, as per usual. Uh... Yeah, we do have to go see our friends today. Um, Are you going somewhere? I was thinking about it. I'll be fine by myself. Really? Are you sure? So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Uh, yeah. Well, I guess she says she'll be fine, so... Let's go ahead and go. Such a reliable girl. I can't stand how good she is. All right, Sorry Yosuke. Hey, no problem. Stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Ah! Yosuke! We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, yeah. which one strikes uh, your fancy? Yosuke! Those are kind of... Well, if you had me to choose, I'd say uh, the katana's more my style. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. And dangerous! Well, fake, though. Oh. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, You'd too. You'd look like a badass. Kind of like this? Uh, don't swing those around. Like Yosuke, this. no, no, you you shouldn't be... This. No, you should not be swinging those around with people looking at you. Especially where there's an officer on the side! Yosuke, put those away! Suspicious young males found. <laughs> oh, crap! Weapons, Put them away! Yosuke, just slowly, like, throw them away. Ah, oh, crap! I mean, no, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal There's it. no backpedaling from this, Yosuke! I mean, that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just swinging around some sword-looking things. Like oh, uh, that doesn't sound Stop right talking! <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story Okay, okay, station. we'll do whatever you want. Where I can see them too. Got it, I got it, got no. it. But, but, the, Yosuke, is, put them down! An of the no! You're under ah, no! Yosuke, you fool! Oh, Hanamura, you just ruined everything! You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like sorry. this. Sorry. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. I'm sorry. Guys. My friend's just an idiot. Lucky I was around. Now, this would have ended up on your permanent record. Thank you, sir. You're sorry. I should hope so. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? What? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Not Yukiko. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then uh she really oh. Is. Hmm. Who's what now? Uh, nothing, nothing. Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. Sorry, sorry, Before sorry. You go. But this better not happen again. Don't worry, it won't. Okay, panic mode. Um, we gotta go. Whoa, pardon me. Nay, no problem. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Yeah. Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Is she missing? Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? We're her friends. Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? Got it. We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Oh, no! Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, no. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. Oh, no, we know it is. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days. 
so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. You just solidified our fears! Way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? What? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamano was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards wait, guests. Wait, 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 wait. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. Are you? And with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter... She must have felt Are you accusing incident, Yukiko? No? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low. Hey, 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 there. none of that. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? <laughs> Sorry, I got it right here. Did I said anything, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, this is a situation, indeed. Um. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san? I hope not. There you are! Oh, hi, Chie. Just getting Jeez, arrested. What are you guys doing? As I said. I've been looking everywhere! Sorry. Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that Not the a strong motive, right mind you. ...makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. Uh, guys? We need to save her? Right. That's the important thing. With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to. What? And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko, no matter what. Uh... Are you going to be all right? Yeah. They just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the plate. Why? Come on, follow me. Uh, okay. Well, apparently, uh, Chie knows some shady people. Oh, very rustic. Very old-fashioned. Very samurai. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? <laughs> That's what I want to oh, know. I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! Whoa, hey now. You don't know shit about how I feel. Jwa, jeez. I might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Okay, okay. Just stay behind us. That's all I ask. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. <laughs> you don't listen, know this place. I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. That's all we ask. Man, what should we get? Hey. Mind picking out something for me, too? Mm -hmm. You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Okay. That'll work. Hey, thanks for the money, dude. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. That would be I sad. Like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Yeah. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? 
I don't think people would notice. Oh yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's try that. You're going with this? All right, let's split up and get ready. The okay. store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Okay. All right. Hey, Daidara, how you doing? All right, so this is your basic weapon, armor, accessory kind of store. Um, not going to get too much here. Chances are I'm just going to get a weapon for me, a weapon for Yosuke, and uh, I'll go ahead and equip them. And uh, it does give you the option to sell the old thing that you had. Me playing RPGs personally, I don't like to get rid of anything just in case something comes up later where I need an older item. So I end up keeping everything. If I have, like five or six of the same item, then I'll sell them, but mainly I just uh, keep one of everything. So let's see, for armor... Uh, let's go ahead and get me some chain mail here. Give me a little extra beefy armor here. And uh, I'm pretty much spent, so uh, uh, what do you have to say, Daidara? Bring you materials, huh? Okay. Rare materials that you've never seen before. Uh, well, actually, the thing he's talking about is inside dungeons, you can get specific materials for Daidara to make new weapons, armor, and so on and so forth with them. And he does pay you handsomely for the important items you get, so well worth your time to actually grind. See you guys at Juness. Ah! Uh, what is this? Wait a minute. Is this the Velvet Room? So, it finally began. Igor? Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. Uh, sure. Ah, oh, the key! Does this mean we can go into said room that nobody can see? Look at that. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. I'll keep that in Our mind. Goal is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. Oh, no kidding. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. Whatever that means. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. Okay. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. Noted. Well, at least we have one social link started. Maybe this will give us some extra points, extra power. And it seems it will. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. Yeah, I noticed her over there in the <laughs> corner. Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. Likewise. You seem a bit cold, though. Haven't we seen you somewhere before? I've met you somewhere. Huh? 
Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. Jeez. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. Got it. Got it. Yeah, she does have a mouth on her, doesn't she? Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. The Marie outside will contact world. you at a later date. Okay. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. Got it. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. I do too. Until then, farewell. So when we obtain more power, we'll be sure to come back to the Velvet Room. All right, well, Yukiko is in danger, and we now have new assets to help her out. So next time on Persona 4 Golden, we are heading to Juness and into the TV world, and hopefully we'll be able to save Yukiko. Man, I don't want her to die. That would be terrible. I'll see you guys next time.